Look at that, what a lizard. As friendly and accustomed to this as Daenerys is, she's still a Komodo dragon. Inside that mouth are razor sharp teeth and they're venomous. So they bite a water buffalo on the leg. The venom goes in, the bacteria causes an infection. That's how the prey dies. It's no different if they bite us. If Daenerys grabs on and she means it, she won't let go. You think she's gonna head all the way to the van? Australian Reptile Park boss Tim is preparing to take Daenerys on a road trip to find out if she's fertile. Some days she goes left, other days she goes right. Just taking the lizard for a walk. But the huge Komodo dragon has other ideas. That's sun pose. The lady needs a bit of sun. We've got an appointment at the vet's, a set time. So it's a short sunbake today and off to the vet's we go. Brendo, you got that backpack? Yeah, good stuff, mate. Inside the bag are tools and equipment to get a Komodo dragon off your arm or leg if they latch on. Yeah, I'll grab her from the front. Yeah, let's do it. Do you grab it? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. yeah. Got her? Every time when Dan's holding Daenerys and that head goes up near his face, we're always cautious. Her teeth are long enough and sharp enough, she'd go straight through the arteries. Really bad. OK, ready? Good. She's a little agitated, but she's in the back of the van and it's a quick trip to the vets. How's she going? She's about 40 centimetres from your head. No throat puffing or anything no, like that? No, no, perfect. Mate, she's still tongue clicking. When you're working with a lizard like Daenerys, you're looking for a few different signs, potentially if she's going to come towards you, maybe to try and bite. One of those signs might be bending the tail. They've got a really strong muscular tail that they might try and whip you with. But also too, they'll start to puff out their throat. They'll start to grunt. They almost become very, very vocal. The team must get Daenerys inside before she gets too distressed. Here she is. There's our pretty girl. Open the door so you can go on in. There's something about holding a Komodo dragon out in front. She lets me do that. If she didn't want me to, she would let me know. What we're looking for is eggs. They'll still be attached to the ovaries. They're not fertilised, of course, she hasn't made it. And those eggs will be just above the pelvis, so in the lower belly. If we put Kraken in with Daenerys, when she's not ready or, or, or not receptive, they'll fight. Now, when Komodo dragons fight, um, it ends very badly. So we're talking real serious lacerations, lots of blood and something we need to avoid. North of Sydney, the ultrasound on feisty Komodo dragon Daenerys is going well, so far. Uh, yeah, there's definitely some in there. Tim's optimistic she's ready to mate, but first he's hoping Dr Robin will confirm that she's fertile. You can see. Yep. That, they're eggs. Yes, they're, okay. Oh, she's got to come down. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this is excellent news because really they're not very often bred in captivity. And if she's ready and Kraken's willing to do the deed, then hopefully we'll have success. Wow. These little black circles are eggs? Correct. And is that real size? That's real size. Two they're that big? 2.9 to 3 centimetres. They're quite wow. large. And you can imagine what size they are when they come out. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? Six, seven, maybe even eight. So that is exactly what we're after. That's, that's what we want to see because that means she's ready. Yeah. There are very few Komodo dragons born in captivity and only 6,000 left in the wild. So Tim is wasting no time teaming Daenerys with a mate and hoping for success. Right. It's critically important that we try and breed Daenerys. One of the leading causes of death in Komodo dragons in captivity is egg peritonitis. Now, that is when the eggs are inside, uh, they're not fertilised, she didn't breed, but they sit there, they can rupture, they become infected and cause death. Yeah, I'll take Kraken out onto the grass. Um, we'll stay out there for a little bit. He's yeah. at the door. He's ready to go. I can hear him <laughs> scratching. Yeah. He's excited. And here's the man of the moment. A hefty 70 kilo male called Kraken. Now, while he's walking, we'll let Daenerys into Kraken's enclosure, at which point we'll bring Kraken back. You can see her. He spotted her. An introduction is very delicate. She's going to test him. She's going to want a male to follow after her. At that point, it can go really good or it can go really bad. That's what we want. They've sized each other up. 
female Daenerys is fertile, but is she ready for the advances of male Komodo Kraken? Now, the chase is on. She'll keep running until he can catch up and show her the male that he is. Kraken's showing a little bit of frustration. Daenerys' skin is very thick, but it's no match for Kraken's teeth. Oh, it's heating up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want that. Tim may have to intervene. Kraken's starting to worry us. Uh, he's bitten Daenerys right across the face. That's not a good position. Kraken lets go. No harm done. We've got a little bit of blood on one of Daenerys' brows. Kraken's fumbling around a bit, trying to pull her into a position where he can go into a mount. That is incredible. And he's in mount he's position in. now. That is perfect. It's looking good. He's going to mate. Oh, wow. After many years of looking at these dragons from just this long to the size they are now, we've got our first mating. For the next few days, we just expect multiple copulations. Could be our first ever clutch of Komodo dragons. That is incredible. He's in mount position now. That is perfect. The love match between Komodo dragons, Daenerys and Kraken didn't go quite as well as expected, with no baby dragon to report. But Tim is hoping for better luck next time round.